how the hell did I make the mistake of skipping out on Resident Evil 2? This is going to be a bit of a different video. Resident Evil 2's remake has been out for less than a year, so I couldn't do a review on it or a retrospective. But what I can do is talk about how much I love this game and how terrified I am to play it. I've had this game for three days and have barely been able to put in three hours worth of playtime because it haunts me in just the right ways. I haven't even been formally introduced to Mr. X at this point. What's crazy is that I'm not the type of person to be too horrified to play a game. Resident Evil 7 terrified me, but I still pressed on. This, for some reason, has me shitting my pants. Perhaps it's the abundance of ammunition I found, then notice how quickly it runs dry. Giving you a survival knife only to discover that it breaks after three uses. Or the endless green herbs that I've procured, but realize that I haven't seen much, if any, lately. This game fools you into thinking you're in a healthy abundance of resources and then rips every sliver of hope that you have right out of your chest. Perhaps it's the long dark corridors that are only illuminated by my flashlight and the moon. Or maybe it's that damn spine chilling music that haunts me as I carefully navigate the halls of this infested police station, waiting for the next undead monstrosity to appear. This game does everything perfectly. If you've got a checklist for the perfect horror experience, this game checks all of those boxes. I've never felt so unsafe in my entire life. The undead aren't even really that terrifying. What's terrifying is the idea of a six shot bullet sponge zombie blocking your path. The idea of having to face one head on, that's what keeps me in unease. It's the sound of breaking glass. Imagining a liquor around the corner. Threats just on the other side of that door. The concept of never being safe. Even in a safe room. Resident Evil 2's remake has quickly become one of my favorite games of the year, and I've barely touched it. It's also possibly becoming my favorite survival horror game of all time. Amazing visuals, horrifying combat, and an ominous score force you to truly immerse yourself into this nightmare. Hopefully I'll be able to finish it before Resident Evil 3 releases this upcoming year and take on the new horrors that surround Nemesis. Thank you guys so much for watching another video. I know this one is short, but like I said, I haven't been able to put much time into it. I just wanted to spend a few minutes talking about it. As you can tell, this game chills me to my bones. If you've played it, I'd like to hear some of your experiences and thoughts. By the time I've made this video, I have actually encountered Mr. X and he is absolutely horrifying. If you're new to the channel, thank you for watching. You should most definitely hit like and consider subscribing because I put out videos like this all the time. I also do some funny moments videos as well as some let's play series that my friends and my fans enjoy. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.